What's up guys, my name is Isaac Zordon, welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Today I just want to talk about really like the Beyond Light expansion and what it means for Destiny, as well as touch on my thoughts on the Witch's Queen DLC coming out next year, as well as Lightfall. They said Lightfall is going to change Destiny forever and I just wanted to briefly touch on both of those DLCs as well as talk about what Beyond Light means for the future of Destiny. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's first start with what we know about Beyond Light. We know it's coming out November 10th, 2020, which is just right around the corner. It's just a few months away. I know they delayed it, but it's still just right around the corner. And we know we're getting a new uh, moon, which is Europa, and it's the moon of Jupiter, of course. We know that they're finally letting us use the darkness for our supers. So we're finally, after three years of Destiny 1, a couple years of Destiny 2, we're finally going to be able to wield the darkness. What that means for Destiny is going to change everything because we've never had this happen before. We've also never had as much customization in Destiny. With Destiny 2, you know, of course they start out at a rocky start. They didn't have too much customization apart from Destiny 1. They actually took out a little customization for Destiny 1 regarding the subclasses. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in Destiny 1, you actually had a little bit of skill trees i would say versus destiny 2 you only have a few options for your grenades your jumps uh things like that but in destiny 1 you had a little bit more customization and they took that out so in destiny 2 when that first launched there was it was essentially destiny 1 just uh kind of like rebranded and was not too much different but over the years they've added mods where you can customize everything they've added random rolls back they've added random loot drops back they've added so many different things that have changed destiny and they are going in this direction that is actually going to help destiny more than hurt destiny they say that they don't have any plans for destiny 3 but i actually think that is completely wrong because even though they don't they may not be making a destiny 3 i think they're going to be making a new destiny altogether i think it's going to be destiny it's not going to be called destiny 3 but it's going to be like destiny the darkness or something i believe this is the next future for destiny now luke smith did state in the full reveal trailer last month that lightfall has taken us to a certain moment and you know that's a very vague statement of course but with that statement we can assume that lightfall is going to be like the next big step of destiny i don't think destiny is going to go away after lightfall i know they didn't say they had any plans for destiny 3 but i i do think it's still going to be called like destiny the darkness or something along those along those terms but i do believe that destiny lightfall we're going to be able to see that next step and i honestly think that the darkness is where it's going to go i think that we've been you know we've been light guardians try to do good for destiny one and destiny two so far and i think that next step is you know that maybe the darkness consumes up consumes the guardians and we will be fighting for darkness you know i believe that something's going to be changing you know i think they maybe have been been focusing so much on the light rather than the darkness and i think that this is the turning point turning point for destiny is lightfall I'm excited to see what's come. Of course, these are all speculations and all my opinions, but I, of course, you know, I always like to think of outside the box and see what is like, what's the future of games. I, it's, it's fun to me. Of course, with Beyond Light coming this November, we're going to be able to see like what that future of Destiny is going to be uh, shaping up to be. I know we're going to be able to get that new plan and everything. And a lot of gear is actually getting sunsetted, which means that a lot of our, you know, God rolls, our mountaintops, we're, they're all going to go away pretty soon. And we're gonna have to be ready to of course let those go <laughs> even though i don't want to but um i'm mean, really excited to see what they have planned because it supposedly there's like gonna be like what 15 guns by the next season or something so they're gonna have to add like a bunch of guns to the loot pool which of course i think they will i think they always have a plan uh at bungie of course for destiny because this is their biggest hit i'm excited to see what's to come and honestly you know beyond light is like look at the gameplay in the background look at those supers it is there is absolutely nuts i am so hyped to wield the darkness finally i'm always excited when there are new supers but these are the best supers so far that i've ever seen so i'm excited for this this is gonna be world make this gonna make a huge difference it's crazy i'm also excited for that grenade you know that hunter grenade you know make those platforms when that titan smash that we saw as well as the the warlock with the wizard looking powers oh my god this dlc is going to be awesome though beyond light i'm so excited for i i honestly can't wait to see witch's queen and lightfall i know it's really far away to be talking about them but i just 
I, I'm excited. You know, I love seeing new content for this game, and it's just, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that grenade. The PvP is going to be broken for a little bit. I can already see it. But, you know, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been I Exordium. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as watch me on Twitch. I stream every Monday through Thursday, as well as Saturdays. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.